Today we're going to talk about some great plants to add to your minimalist interior to bring nature in and bring some big bold design. Hey everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. Today we're going to talk about some great plants for minimalist interiors. But before we jump in, if I could ask a favor. If you like this type of content and would like to see more, please let me and YouTube know by hitting the like button, sharing with your design-minded friends, and subscribing for future videos. The first category of plants is what I like to call big, bold, and beautiful. These plants are exotic and they can grow very, very tall. But I do want to throw a caution out here that these plants can be toxic to people and to pets, so please use care. The first of these is the bird of paradise. It has big, beautiful leaves and can grow to five to six feet tall. The bird of paradise leaves grow directly from the soil so they have no trunk and the large leaves range from 12 to 18 inches long. It needs bright, direct sun placed near a east or west facing window and avoid rooms with only north facing windows. It likes moist soil and may need daily watering in the spring and summer. It likes temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit and high humidity, so mist if your air is dry. The next two in the big, bold, and beautiful category are ficus varieties. The rubber plant that we're used to seeing has oversized oval-shaped leaves in a rich dark green, but there are other varieties with a lighter green leaf and white around the edges. They can grow up to 10 feet tall and they may need support to stay upright as it grows taller. This plant likes bright, diffused light and likes moist soil, but it should be well drained. The rubber plant likes temperatures between 60 to 75 degrees and moderate humidity. The rubber plant is an air cleaning plant, so it will remove toxins from the air. If you missed my video on air cleaning plants, I'll link it below. The next ficus is a fiddle leaf fig that can grow up to 10 feet tall and grows fairly fast. The fiddle leaf fig is a beautiful plant with dark green leaves in the shape of a violin. It needs bright filtered light and needs to be rotated every few days for even sun exposure. It needs to be kept moderately moist, so water when the top inch of soil is dry. It likes temperatures of between 60 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit and 30 to 65 percent humidity. I think part of minimalism and the benefit of having a minimalist interior is that it brings simplicity. And some of these plants seem a little labor intensive, so I would just jump in slowly. Don't even jump in, just stick your toe in. Get one at a time, see how it goes, and then potentially you could add another one. While not as bold as some of the other plants, the areca palm can grow up to eight feet tall, so it can make quite a statement. The areca palm has a smooth trunk with fronds that are narrow and full. It requires bright light exposure from south or west facing windows. The areca palm likes temperatures of 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit and acclimates to indoor humidity if it's not too low. And some really good news about this plant is that it has air cleaning properties and it's non-toxic to pets and humans. If you saw my video on air cleaning plants, you'll know how much I love the snake plant. It is such a beautiful plant, has such a beautiful sculptural quality to it, and it really is great in any interior, but particularly in a minimalist interior. So this one, as stated in my previous video, um, is an air cleaning plant. It removes VOCs and emits oxygen. Snake plants can grow up to eight feet tall and will adapt to any light conditions, and they don't require a lot of water, no more than every other week. Temperatures above 50 degrees with 70 to 90 degrees being the best temperature for the plant. This one can be toxic to pets, so that's really the only drawback to this one. The final two plants are in the succulent category. We've got one that is very large and then another one that is probably the smallest of the succulents. We're gonna start off with a cactus. The one pictured here is a saguaro. It has slow growth, but can grow very tall. So you'll probably want to buy the size that you want it to be because they only grow a couple of inches per year. 
They need a lot of light, four to six hours of bright sun daily by south or west facing windows. And they like temperatures in the 70 to 80 degree range. Although in the winter, they'll tolerate lower temperatures down to 55 degrees. They need watering every 10 days or so in the summer and every four to six weeks otherwise. And these are non-toxic to pets, but watch out for the spines. There are a lot of varieties of the smaller succulents, so you can find one for almost any taste. Whether you prefer a lot of bold color and there's just different shapes and, and sizes. The one I'm gonna cover here is the Echeveria. Echeveria is really beautiful and flower-like and so easy to decorate with. These really aren't supposed to grow uh, and get tall, and the reason that they do is because they're searching for light. Um, so they get leggy, and I have a perfect example of a leggy Echeveria here. Um, I have basically ruined this plant, so I'm going to probably uh, just kind of propagate it. In other words, just cut it and uh, try to get you know it to um, to grow in the proper way, but this is what it looks like when it gets leggy and this is what you don't want So you just want to make sure that it's getting enough sunlight The appropriate amount of sunlight for an Echeveria is four to six hours of bright sun daily They don't need to be watered very often You can wait until the soil dries out completely and then water lightly and make sure that the soil is well drained they love dry, hot weather, but they'll acclimate to household climate. Just don't place them in really humid areas like bathrooms. Great news on succulents, they're non-toxic to pets and people. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave me some comments below and let me know if you've tried any of these plants and how it's going. I hope you have a great week. See you next time.